obviously, but I ate five bags of those damn things. Like I said, I put on some weight. Um, that's okay. Um, yeah, under the circumstances. The circumstances being that... can't listen to music until I, I don't know, I, she already had that, that catheter, that cardiac catheterization, so she had it early, that's good, um, I got a message from her that she's coming home this afternoon, um, that she was eating lunch right now, so she's not going to be home in 10 minutes, but I can't have music on, I have to find out if she's going to call me and give me the see that I don't, know, I don't know. Fact is, what is the bottom line in all of this? I have my glasses. The bottom line in all of this, the bottom line, people is that for the first time ever we're dealing with my mom having major health problems. Maybe that will lean her towards wanting to go and uh, have a male figure in our life. You know? Like seriously. Joe sent me a thing, wishful thinking, and it's a, a huge house walking distance from him, but a huge house where he lives is not going to be expensive. I, we can sell this place and, and, and we could easily buy that place. However, that wasn't the, what I wanted. This is like a huge place. Like, like, I think it has four bedrooms, three baths. It's, it's too much, even if it's cost thing. And it has acres of land just like he has. Yeah, but we were going to share that, Joe, and live together and not live apart and have that, you know, so... And it doesn't matter anyway, as I said, it, I, I, it, um, he just sent that just to show me, you know, because it, it just happens to be on sale and walking distance from where he's living. His place only has one bathroom. This place has three. But you don't know if there's something wrong with it. You know what I mean? And I don't even know what's going on with the economy now anyway. I don't even know. I don't know anything. I said the world is up up in the air but now my mother has health problems that has never been the case before nothing serious she now has serious health problems well she's coming home but we don't know anything we don't know what's going on with her heart we don't know if she has cancer the ERCP is 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 you know is is in a few weeks a couple weeks whatever I, mean, I would tell you exactly but you know and that's it. I need to get this place clean. I don't want her to come home to a shithole. I've been doing, I, I keep up with the laundry. Omar goes to the bathroom sometimes if I'm sleeping or, you know, he goes to the bathroom in his crate and I just immediately wash the blanket that's in there. I'll never put a towel in there again after that fiasco of him getting his nail cut on it and that was hell. Could have been worse, Hal. Could have had to have a have a flashback to when Omar and I spent a week on the streets of L.A. and California and Hollywood and Santa Monica and Mar Vista and Culver City. The whole like we'll just combine them all because it was all combined. Um, anyway, I would have had to spend the night overnight with Omar, and it was kind of chilly that night, even though it was summer. You know, it was still summer then, but it was kind of chilly. Didn't have a coat, of course, didn't have anything. I was dressed in those micro blue shorts that you, I had no choice but to go there and be dressed like that, and police got involved, and I already told you that story. Again, I, I need to stress this over and over. All this crap, none of this kind of crap would happen if we were with Joe, and his car, right? I wouldn't be having to be in a vet's office with police and having to be dropped off by a neighbor who couldn't pick us up because we don't know how long it's going to be. It's on an emergency basis. We were there for hours. 
and I couldn't get dressed because I was in the tiny shorts. Unfortunately, it's summertime. I'm in my house, you know, and my mom is, is a nervous wreck. She can't be responsible to hold Omar. I put him down. His, his nail's going to rip off and wrap even more around the towel. I couldn't get dressed. I couldn't do anything. I was lucky I could even grab my credit card. And, um, oh, wait a minute. No, I, didn't, I couldn't find the credit cards. That's right. And this place didn't take checks. But we were trying to go to the place that is in the area. And instead, we had to go much farther away because in the area wasn't open only for people picking up meds and that nobody doc no doctor on it was just awful and the neighbor could have said no my mom went to another neighbor who said didn't care didn't care if i was screaming in the yard you're not christians if you don't help me my dog is screaming no people won't even help you when you're in, in some people won't some people will you can be in distress you can be begging them and they'll they have a car and they'll say no and that makes me disgusted, but whatever. Joe deals with it too. We need to be with Joe. We need to be with a male figure, okay? And anyhow. Good guy. He's not perfect. Nobody is. As I said, never in a million years would I live with him again where it's his house and he's supporting. And you know what I mean? Wouldn't do that. But it just so happens that, you know, my mother owns this house outright. Okay? If she wants to. She. It's up to her. It's totally up to her, okay? I will never leave her. I will not leave her. She can't have me leave her now anyway, okay? This all would have happened if I had been still at Joe's and I would have had to come home. And by then, I would have changed my address and everything because I had planned to once I was there for a year and definitely going to stay. I would have changed my address and everything and still, but if my mom's having, of course I would have come home, you know? If it's, we don't know, it's, we have no idea right at this moment what's going on with my mother. We just know everything's happening all at once and it's scary fucking shit. for me or anything my mother's indicated well, she said let's do it now and I'd already told you that I'm like I, I, I don't I can't stand the winter mom I can't do this now I don't know maybe we should it might be too late to postpone a spring who knows like I said I'm aware of every fucking thing going on in this world I just don't talk about it because that's not what my channel's about okay Lest you think otherwise, I'm aware of every goddamn fucking thing going on. Including things that go on apparently practically right down the street from me. I want to be real blunt. Yeah, I'm aware of that too. I'm aware there's a lot of things going on here in Massachusetts. There always has been, even before the pandemic, there's always been the nature of Massachusetts. But there are things that go on here that don't even go on in other states. I'll just leave it at that.
So I have three different things I have to do before. Empty the dishwasher, load up the dishwasher, but we'll just count this all as clean the kitchen. Obviously, I just showed you all that crap on the table. We're not going to have my mom come home to that. She'll panic. She'll panic, even though it's foolish. She'll panic. And then her bed is covered with clothes. So, you know, the way these hospitals run, I don't think she'll be home anytime soon. They have to get all her paperwork together and discharge her and all whole nine yards. I said, there's no fucking way in hell I was going to have her stay, you know, rack up the bill even more for this hospital and stay the whole goddamn weekend so she can have an ERCP next week and not ne even necessarily on Monday. I told you what happened this week. They, it was a blessing in disguise because they found out the heart stuff, but, but it turned out it wasn't even a blessing in disguise because she could have had the ERCP and the cardiologist swears up and down he gave his full, full approval that it wouldn't have affected it. So they can say it was a blessing in disguise because, you know, we found out this heart stuff and blah, 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 whatever. Um, but basically, I told you, they fed her when they weren't supposed to when she was fully scheduled to have that ERCP. They fed her, had to cancel it, and then they couldn't do it the next day because there was no one available to do it. So, you see what's all this shit that's happened? And then they didn't want to do it anyway until they had her have that stress test. So... In that instance, it's not their fault. But she could have already had the ERCP while she was in there, and then she would have been, had both tests under her belt. But regardless, this is how it worked out. She's coming home. As I told the doctor, I'm like, this, I, the doctor had said she didn't have to have this one, but she will have to have this one before having the ERCP even outpatient. Um, no, I'm like, well, well, we'll have the one, but not the other, because it's. It, I would have had her stay in there and have the other, if it wasn't the goddamn weekend, and she'd have to spend the whole weekend there and not have the... They're not going to give her any ERCP over the weekend, you know? I'm not doing that to her. Of course, the hospital wants to rack up the bill. I don't know if there are potential side effects to medication she's going on. They don't even know if they can put her on certain medication if her insurance doesn't cover it. We can't afford that. Not in a universe. So, I don't know. All I know is, is this is the first time we've ever had to deal with anything like this. And who knew? You don't know. Like I said, there could be horrible things going on inside me. I don't know. All I know is that I had the full physical, I had the, you know, the, the, you know what I mean, the complete physical, blood work, whole nine yards, my vitamin D levels, considering how much vitamin D I take, I thought would be much higher. I was surprised as hell at that, but now I'm taking more. Um, and then, of course, the same old thing they always say to everybody. I think Joe said they said it to him, too, that, you know, your cholesterol's a little high. And Joe said something about coconut oil or something about whatever, like, 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 all I know is if they're telling me that, but again, it's just a little high, then people who are like this big, it has to be really, really bad. That's just common sense, okay? So I'm not going to worry about that, and sure as fuck, we'll never go on any goddamn medication, right? I read all about that medication. They've reduced, they've lowered what they consider that you should go on the medication. It used to be that they wouldn't recommend the medication, okay? And now they're recommending it for people they normally wouldn't have, which would be me, all right? They've changed the threshold of what they're going to put that you on that medication. Because when I tell you my thing was high, yeah, it was a little, little, little too high. It was a little above the, the you know... And then I, I didn't I didn't want to talk into them, but when they 
the I read about it online, okay? And it said, yeah, we've changed that recommendation. Basically, it's if you don't go on this medication, you have a, a much higher chance of having a heart pro heart attack or whatever in the next 10 years and, you know, all that usual stuff that they say. such fantastic blood pressure. They always tell me that. In fact, it's on the low side. They, they, they always tell me that. Whenever anyone takes my blood pressure, they've said it. They're like, wow, you're, you have really good blood pressure. Yeah. Apparently, my bad cholesterol is, you know, a little too high. And it's actually high enough that these days they would recommend you go on that, 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 whatever it's called, I don't know, because I'll never do it. As far as I'm concerned, the risks of doing that don't not, they don't, you know, the, the benefits of doing it don't outweigh the risks. And I'm capable of reading and looking up all this crap and weighing the options and, you know. Run this dishwasher with every glass, every mug. You don't have to worry about. Mom no doesn't need a mug. She's eating lunch there. I'm glad they gave her the damn test early. She just wants to come home, and I want her to come home. But again, it's it's we're not it, by any means off the hook. In fact, like I said, she could have cancer. She thinks just because they say, well, we don't think it's cancer, it looks like a stone from that advanced MRCT. It doesn't matter. I talked to her doctor who originally said, I really think it's cancer because a small we saw a smaller mass next to the bigger mass that was showing at the CAT scan about a month ago. So that, that could be indicating of cancer. Okay. But then they told her after the MRCT, well, they, they said it's not cancer, but again, you don't go by what my mom says or if someone's telling her, you know, I'm going by what the doctor originally said before the MRCT. And Bottom line is at my mother's age, you have to face things, okay? Everyone needs to face things anyway. Because that's the nature of life, okay? The nature of fucking life. Sure they were open that I would say, well, while she's in there, again, 
I'm involved. If I wasn't involved, they'd keep my mother forever. She wouldn't have the wherewithal to, to say, I don't want to spend the weekend and have, and you know, she wouldn't. She just, will, she lets them do whatever they want. But I am in her life and she begs me and she wanted to come home. And the doctor assured me it's not an emergency to have the either one. But I said, well, she's there anyway, and we can do it tomorrow. But then I'm not having to spend the goddamn weekend there. And again, racking up the bill. Whether or not the insurance pays for it all is irrelevant. You know, it's racking up the bill over something that's not a fucking emergency. And meanwhile... You know what I mean? Every day that she's in there, they could come up with something else, or, or she might not even be able to have the ERCP. This particular, you know, there's different doctors that do it. Just because this doctor and anesthesiologist said they wouldn't do it, doesn't mean the one wouldn't do it that was supposed to give it to her in a couple weeks, couple, three weeks from now, you know? It's up to them. They essentially, I was told she didn't have to have that catheterization thing unless she wanted it it's also not always doesn't even always give like like totally like accurate results you know and as far as i'm concerned you're gonna if the cardiologist said it's fine why are you gonna override that cardiologist after i was told that you wouldn't but again you can't for like the doctor says to me and she's mad i was getting upset at all meanwhile joe told me to call and threaten to have my mom to call the police. I'm like, I'm Joe's overkill. I'm not calling the goddamn police, Joe. Okay? I'm not going to do that. I will call and complain, which I did do. Oh, bye.